welcome back to another Jerusalem News TV. Shalom. I'm Ronnie welcome Isaiah. Welcome to the Jerusalem News TV, everybody. I'm Ronnie Isaiah, your anchor man, and David Kalimnik, commentator. David Kalimnik, yes. Shedding insight and valuable commentary on the headlines of this week. Jerusalem News reports for our first story. Well, I'm just very disappointed if I can make it clear that uh, I'm working today with a little, uh, what would be, um, kind of disability. Um, I'm working with an anchor man who's not wearing a jacket, which bothers me as a professional commentator. But we're still going to bring you the news, make it good for all of you, because that's what Jerusalem News TV is about. Even when there is a little disability, when we're working with what would be a crutch, we still come out and we still perform for you, making it the news that you need to hear. And, and back to our, our first story, uh, Jerusalem Rabbi, Rabbi Stern, head rabbi of Jerusalem, has been uh, out and about. He's conducting surprise checks at restaurants to uphold kosher inspection standards. And uh, that, that has hurt the Rabbanut institution uh, over here, Ron, if I can just say that this has really hurt, brought down the Rabbanut institution and... Um, this is not appreciated by the citizens of Jerusalem. The number of kosher restaurants in Jerusalem has dropped all the way to three over the past week since this rabbi, uh, Stern, has come around and uh, spot checks have been happening. Um, the spot checks have gone a little too far, I believe, and that has to stop. Rabbi Stern has uh, been investigating whether the supervisors are fulfilling their duties. Well, you know, ever since um, ever since I, I've come to Jerusalem and, uh, and have been uh, what would be a patron of the city, we'll call it, before this Rabbi Stern came around and said, I'm, I'm going to be an anti-patron and anti-patronize the city, I'm not patronizing enough of the people, I think we have to give credit to the Rabbanut before he comes and, and spot checks for the, the amount of certificates that they have printed up, the number one institution certificate printing, and you know, I go to a restaurant, what do I want to see? What do you want to see when you go to a restaurant that's kosher? When you go to a kosher restaurant, it's not, it's not who. It's that, it's that sign that says certificate. There are times that I've thought, hey, you know, that sign doesn't say certificate, what is it? Maybe it's just a, a letter, a letter of hello. That's not kosher. The kosher certificate has to have written on it Hebrew so that we know that it's kosher. Sometimes if you have English written on there, then you know that that's your sign, that it's not kosher. And I kind of commend Rabbi Stern for coming around and making sure that the certificates have Hebrew on them. That's a big move in the kosher institution of Israel, but I don't know, Ron, I, I just don't, you know, now these spot checks are going to start happening all over, people's phylacteries are going to be checked all, he's not even Chabad and he's going to start checking phylacteries. What's going on? What's going on? When does spot checking stop? Uh, Rabbi Stern has identified a, a particular problem in the way that the kashrut supervisors are paid directly by the restaurants they supervise. That represents for Rabbi Stern a conflict of interests. Oh, it totally, it totally does. When when people are paid on time, that always kills the, the 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 connection that they have with their Creator. The spiritual connection one has with their Creator must happen through the prayers that come from not being paid by your employer, and that that itself can bring down the necess the necessary spiritual level of a rabbi. So maybe Rabbi Stern is coming around and changing things for the better. Maybe he is. Maybe we have to sometimes not go against the, the institution of Rabbi Stern and, and support. Thank you for that insight, David. For That's what I'm here for, Ron. That's what I'm here for. With uh, this new Rabbi Stern, Spot Checks of Jerusalem program, make sure that your doorposts 
are fully scrolled correctly, as Rabbi Stern might be coming around to check your mezuzah, and you will not know, being that it's a spot check. Spot check means, for our listener, spot check means that you don't know that it's happening. It's kind of like a pop quiz. And Rabbi Stern does not work with, with the, the paper. He's just making sure the paper is there. That's what he does. He makes sure that certificates and parchment are there. That's what Rabbi Stern does. He doesn't, he doesn't do the regular pop quiz where it's a multiple choice. He's not working with the multiple choice system. It's not a scroll or a piece of, of, of what would be um, a pie, if we're talking about a dessert or a, ca a cafe place. He's not working with that. He's not working, but he might give you the choice. Do you want the scroll? Do you want the mezuzah? Do you want the phylacteries, the tefillin? Maybe he'll have an A, B. You have to choose. But if you're not ready for the Rabbi Stern spot checks, you do not know what your answer is going to be. Next thing you know, you're not having a Rabbanut certificate given to you in your home. Then people will not eat by you. I know Ron doesn't eat by me due to the, the level of kosher that I keep making sure that everything has a, a certificate on it. That's not good enough because I do not have the certificate on my house that has Hebrew. Well, I, I actually, I don't eat by you because you've never invited me to eat by you. But that's... Uh... Well, we just have a higher level of, of guest at our place. Most of, most of the time we, we make sure that they bring a jacket. We don't have jackets that we give to the guests when they come. And that's just a different level of kosher. Uh, Rabbi Stern has not taken his check to that level of making sure that you have what would be... Um, he, shotness. Well, shotness or... Is, well, he doesn't check into shot. We also don't check into shotness at my place, but that's a different story. Um, that's a different law from the Torah, which we do not have to concern ourselves with because we're not eating the, 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 the wool and linen that are put together. Brilliant insight. Thank you, David, for that commentary. On to our next story. Rabbi Stern, you can come by any time to spot check my mezuzahs.